Welcome to the Perfect Genetics Challenge, Generation 1, Episode 3. Olivia is at home. She was watching TV, but that little TV, there isn't much you can watch on it, so she chooses to watch the Romance Channel because she's really wanting to get married. She doesn't want to get married and have children, although she knows she has to. She just wants to have somebody in her life. But she needs to learn to cook, so she's reading the cooking book that she got from her brand new bookcase that we bought her. I don't usually use that bookcase, so I, that's why I picked it. It was cheap, or relatively cheap, and it had some extra, I think it's got three fun rather than two, and she needs a bit of fun. So she went to lay in her bed because we don't have a proper chair for her to sit in yet to read her cookbook to get her cooking skill up a bit because she needs a higher cooking skill for work. She does have natural born cook trait so she will learn to cook fairly quickly and her lifetime wish is the menu maven so she needs to read 28 recipes but she has got some wishes there that include a special man called Don. Now Don is green. I made him and created a sim and I'll probably make all of the spouses for my heirs in this series because I want to play around with skin colours and things like that. Of course I'm not using any custom content skins. I've just kept the moon cut gem that she found earlier. Now when she woke up she had some time off work, so I sent it to the greenhouse. She needs money. She's broke. She needs to get that house decorated. She's at least got a roof over her head now. So picking up sons will give her a hundred simoleons each if she sells them fairly quickly. And then while she's there, I thought I'd get her to collect a few seeds. But I see there's a very rare mushroom there, one that it's difficult to find. So I got her to pick that up first. She'll plant that as soon as she's got the gardening skill to let her do it. So we'll just leave her here at the greenhouse. All she's going to be doing is collecting suns and picking up whatever seeds she can find. Much later, after it's dark, she goes home and Don Walker would like to chat. Well, of course he would. I mean, she's really happy that he would. I'm happy that he would too, because he's the guy. He's the one. She's the chap he's been, she's been trying to catch when she gets out of work every evening. And he's often not there. Sometimes he is. That's where she met him when she first came out of work and she saw him from a distance. So we've got to keep this relationship going. As you can see, inside the house isn't very creatively decorated. It is cheaply decorated. She learns to cook quickly because she is a natural born cook. Now it occurred to me she had a little bit of extra money and I'd like her to have a basement under her house before things get too far advanced. I know from experience that getting down into a basement can be a bit tricky if you don't prepare for it. So all I'm going to do now is put a little basement in there that's big enough for a circular staircase to go down from this floor above. We'll save every penny we can because you get the paint back or part of the cost of the paint back if you sell it before you delete the wall and she needed to pay to paint that again. Now draw the basement in so she's got somewhere to put the staircase and I'll make it a circular staircase because they take up less room. Let's turn it around a bit with the keyboard board. Page down and that will put it just where it should be. That's it. Bit of free flooring, bit of cheap paint just in case she goes down there. We don't want her to get a negative unfinished room moodlet. Poured cement on the outside. It just looks tidier when you're going down. Now she can plant some of the seeds that she just collected. Unfortunately, it's the night of the full moon. It's not a good night to choose to plant seeds. She can't afford a fence yet. And she's not a green thumb, so even if she did have a gardening skill of five or above, she wouldn't be able to revive her dead plants. Because a sim with the green thumb trait, once they get to the gardening skill of level five or above, here's the zombies. She can, they can revive dead plants, so it doesn't matter if the zombies get into the garden and kill the plants, because you can always revive them, because the zombies only make them dead. She's going to bed now. That's it for the night. Bills to pay. So the zombies get into the garden. They don't kill very many plants, but they do get a few. Lucky she wasn't able to plant that rare mushroom yet. That's a mycenae mushroom. 
They're not rare in that that's the type of mushroom they are. They're rare in that you're very hard to come across them. You don't find them often. But it's good for her to have a garden at this point because she can work that garden and get her gardening skill up and I want her to have up to a level 7 at least in gardening because by level 7 you can plant anything. I'll get her to dispose of her dead plants rather than wait for her to get somebody living in her household that has a green thumb. That will have to be one of her children who gets a random roll of traits that turns up with a green thumb. May not happen. Let's build her a little cheap fence so that next time it's a full moon we'll keep the zombies out. And a gate that she can lock for her, only for her household. She's the only one in her household at the moment. But I don't want to have her move extra household members in and forget to set the gate so that anybody in the household can use it. As she can tend the garden now, that'll get her gardening skill up, and as well as look after the plants a bit. So the gardening skill's <laughs> going up. That's what we wanted. Now she's got to have a shower if she's a bit smelly. Or she's got to go to work and she's still hungry. Hopefully she'll eat something at work. Practice cooking while she's at work. That'll get her cooking skill up. I find it fascinating the number of sims that quickly congregate outside the diner when she's at work. They're a very colourful bunch. All sorts of occults and ghosts and werewolves, fairies, witches, lots of ghosts. She is practicing cooking while she's at work, so that should improve her cooking skill. So she's got a opportunity. She needs to go to Egypt to get the recipe for falafel. I'll probably let her do that. Then of course she's got to cook the falafel and deliver it to work. That could be a problem. Oh look, there's a dumpster behind her workplace. She can go dumpster diving. I don't often get a sim to go dumpster diving, so she can do that when she's finished work. See what she can get. She's nearly ready to finish work. So she'll be out of there any second now. It's very quiet at the front at the moment. Don doesn't seem to be there. So she might as well just go dumpster diving and she finishes work. There's her ride home beeping for her. But she's not going to take it. She's going to dumpster dive. Here she comes. Heading out the back. wonder what she'll get. This is something I almost never do. I think I've done it maybe less than a dozen times since I've had the game. So she's got an end table. Back in for another go. She found that death flower when she was at the greenhouse earlier. And a pill bug. She just got a pill bug. So that's it finished dumpster diving. That might be her only dumpster dive ever. So she's done it once. So this I put the end table and a pill bug down in the corner there and her moon cut gem is underneath the table. I might move it to on top of the table later on. She had to go and have a shower straight away and collect the mail. I think there was a letter there from her from Don. She'll make sure that she responds and sends him a love letter before she goes to sleep. But in his letter he says... I loved what you had to say in your letter. Maybe you could say it to me again in person. So even though she can't ever actually seem to meet up with him in person due to their work commitments, it looks like they can continue their romance by love letter. So I won't worry quite so much about her not being able to actually meet up with him because of their work commitments. And I'll pursue their continued romance by love letter and phone calls. Now she's exhausted so she's got to go to bed now. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next one which will hopefully be quite soon. Bye bye for now and happy simming.